next up we have Einstein Copilot. So I have talked about you know Einstein one. I have talked about Data Cloud. Now I will talk about Einstein Copilot. So Einstein Copilot is a conversational uh, kind of you know capability that Salesforce provides to its users, where they can you know simply ask some questions, and it will do that thing for you. And you will definitely you know need not to worry about is your data secure or is it following the all compliance and everything. Salesforce take care of all of that. So we will be showcasing you that. So I will be quickly moving on to the demo. Just give me a moment so that I can open it up. Before you move to the demo, I have quick questions sure. to understand. Uh, number one, when you say Einstein, Einstein, Einstein first of all, yeah. let's call it Einstein. Einstein. I've been corrected so many times for the same. Uh, Einstein Copilot. Uh, is this for the end users or is this for administrators as well as developers as well? It is for inside Salesforce as of now. So that means uh, this is for the end users who will be using CRM or Salesforce yes. CRM as a platform to do the business that they're doing. Yes. Okay. What uh, what all kind of prompts that they can ask for, uh, f like for Einstein Copilot to perform some action on? Like, g let me give you a simple idea. Yeah. Can they ask uh, the Copilot to create a calendar invite or like to book their calendar on such such date or such such time with a particular contact? of a particular account to have a conversation about this. Can they ask uh, like this Einstein co-pilot that uh, please convert this opportunity of this particular uh, account into this stage or move this mo move this opportunity from this stage to this one, change the amount to this uh, that particular thing, add this more item in the, in the quotes uh, that we have created in the last one and provide an updated one. Yeah. All of these things can be done or not? Yeah, all of these things can be done. There are certain things we need to kind of keep in mind when we are uh, doing that. So the first thing is, you know, we have to keep in mind there are certain things which are, uh, you know, out of the box or which are something configurable. So those we can do, like, you know, updating a record, summarizing it, booking a calendar invite, that is also something possible via flows. But when we talk about, you know, update some quotes into the quote line item and uh, do certain additional things, in that scenario, we would have to leverage flows with some, you know, on top of, you know, some complex logics and some apex as well. And then you can do most of the things, basically what you said, everything we can do with Einstein Copilot, we have to kind of configure it and then we would be able to do it. So right now Einstein Copilot can only do the basic things necessary for the business user. Not right now, but out of the box. So you will have to do your own configuration. Okay. So yeah, it is possible. Like if I, if you want me to do all of this inside our Salesforce demo work right now, we can do it, but it would not be something point and click only. Got it. Certain things that you mentioned would require certain additional flows, complex flows. So it depends, completely depends on to what exactly you want it to do. Yeah. And that will be done through prompt builders. Yeah. That will, do, that will be done uh, through, you know, co-pilot and prompt builder in conjunction. So they would be, you know, kind of, of going course. hand in hand. Yeah. yeah. And uh, one more thing. Can I ask uh, Einstein Copilot to create a validation rule for me? Even if it is like the m amount should not be greater than this. No, no, you cannot do I that. Cannot, right? Yeah, okay. you cannot do that right now. Maybe in future they would allow you, but they definitely allow. No, uh, because there's a lot of developers out there sitting and trying to understand whether this AI <laughs> is going to take our job or not. Because a lot of developers right now are just doing validation rules. So that was a, that, that was the reason I was asking. <laughs> so no. But uh, Salesforce has it in its road uh, roadmap. I'm not sure when uh, they are going to uh, announce it. So Einstein for developers would allow you to do that. It would not actually create the validation rule, but give you the formula for it. So we still have to go and provide the API name, the labels, choose the field, and then you can ask, this is what I want to do. And it will do that for you. Still, they are providing that capability, but it is limited, but they are going to expand it, expand its horizon a little bit more. So. Yeah. You will definitely have to learn how to, you know, uh, be smart in that. Yeah. Uh, so we are going back to the demo. Yeah, 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 demo, demo, demo. Yeah. So coming back to the demo. So if we can have the demo slide. Yeah, just a second. Yeah, this is the one. All right. So uh, in this demo, what I have, uh, so assume you are running a business, uh, you are not running, uh, basically, let's say you are into hospitality business, the business that I have taken is Lush Vista. In this business, let's say you are a sales agent or a service agent and your operations team is reaching out to you and they are saying like, we want to know urgently who John Doe is and have they made any bookings with us? Now, what would you do about it? So you would simply go and ask Einstein co-pilot to summarize this record for you. Summarize hotel, my bad, hotel customer 
John Doe. It wasn't necessary to kind of you know do the uh, capitalization thing and everything, but I did it. I'm sorry, bad habit. Yeah. So it is kind of doing it. It is searching it, uh, and uh, it will give me a response. I'll just give it a second. It is kind of you know running the. It is going to the Einstein GPT layer, uh, making a call out or making a call out to the uh, the LLM that we are utilizing, and then fetching us the data. And you can see the data is here. We can see this summary, like this is John Doe, the information, the booking details. Uh, he has made two bookings, 21st of June to 23rd of June, 22nd of June to 27th of June. We can see all of this information. Now, let's say your agent or somebody who called saying, no, 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 my bad. I didn't want it to ask about John Doe. I wanted to know about Sarah Brown, Sarah Brown. Yeah. So let me summarize that now. It will simply kind of you know uh, try to summarize that record and give us the information about it. Now, while it is summarizing, uh, think about you know how would you have gone about it? Okay, sometime it happens. It is a demo org only, not a production. Just give it a second. Then we refresh it. It happens sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, as I was saying. You know, just imagine how would you have done this if it would have been, you know, Einstein Copilot wouldn't have been there. What you would have done? In that scenario, you would have searched the record either from the search, either from the list view itself only, and then you would have gone into that record. And once you have gone into that record, you would have seen the personal information, but still you would not have been able to see the information about the hotel bookings or the room which has been selected. But with Oh, pilot, you have the capability. You just ask the question and it is giving you all of this information. Like this is Sarah Brown. The booking detail is this. The room number is this. So let me go into much more detail. Let me open the Sarah record, Sarah Brown record. So if it would have been, if it wouldn't have been, you know, uh, co-pilot, you would have searched the record like this. One click. You would have seen the information. Okay, this is this. This is this. You would have written this down somewhere because you have to inform that uh, particular person who called you. So you would have written it down and then you would have gone over here for the bookings. You can see there are three bookings, but you are not able to see the information about it. You would be able to add certain fields to it to the related list view, but still you would not be able to see the complete data. You would have to go in each one of them. So over here, let's say I go into this one. And once you have reached, you can see, okay, so the booking date is this booking uh, checkout date is this and the uh, uh, total amount paid was this, but still you are not able to see the room. So you would have to again click once more to drill down and see what was the room type. Okay, so room type was double. So you will get all of that information in that sense and then you would have to note it down and then you will have to inform it to him. So imagine how much time it has reduced for us. So this is just one scenario that you can do with Einstein Copilot. You can do, you know, your sales email as well. You can generate your sales email. You can summarize uh, your, your uh, related objects and everything. There are many, many more things that you can do. And as I had explained to Shrey as well, you know, the capability and the stage is yours. You can do whatever you want with the right things and the right tools and the right logic. You can do whatever you want. So coming back to our demo itself only. So if you can you go to the slide itself only. Yep. So on the slides, uh, next up we have uh, what it can do with in terms of, you know, uh, departments. So in sales service, marketing uh, and commerce, it can definitely help us. Uh, as we saw in sales, it can, you know, create custom plans, personalized emails. It can definitely, you know, provide quick answers. Uh, in marketing, it can provide personalized messages. From the commerce perspective, it can provide product recommendations, right? Product uh, descriptions as well, based on certain information. And then we have uh, what Einstein one, uh, what, uh, you know, Copilot can do for us, like from the conversation, we can converse with it, we can define actions with it. As we said, summarize, we could do other things as well. Then we have the planner capability, which kind of, you know, uh, guides us how the data is being captured and how it is kind of reaching to that decision. And then we are not limited to that. We can see logs as well for this. And we can see reports as well, which Copilot actions are being most utilized, which person is utilizing how much you know, when I say how much which person is utilizing uh, Copilot to the maximum or 
which department is utilizing it to the full extent of its extent so reports can be created i am just thinking of some of the names which i can think on my own but you can do anything based on your business then we have the trust layer i will summarize it from the high level itself only so whenever you ask a question you start from the left crm side and then you move to the right einstein co pilot you ask certain thing like summarize this record secure data retrieval so basically what it is doing is it is retrieving that data for you and uh, you know it is kind of you know uh, generating a prompt for it i would i'm saying prompt but it's not actually prompt but it is generating a complete message that you want to be done then it is doing data masking what data masking is it is basically kind of you know you may have seen certain movies or fbi cia movies where you see you know they redact the documents where they kind of take out the names and the places and the times so things like that so data masking is kind of replacing that information so alex has become mark and this data information is passed on to the model where they kind of you know do some kind of uh, not some but they do kind of you know your prompt whichever you provided and it then gives us the response back then it does toxicity detection it identifies the response is good or not and then it do data demasking so it had kept like alex is mark so it replaces mark with alex again and then it give you the feedback and monitoring basically the events and the monitoring capabilities and then it give back to the response so this is einstein trust layer and this trust layer is very important this is the one thing which is kind of you know making salesforce stand out from its competition allowing a complete secure and compliant ai integration into its platform so this uh, is recently salesforce has also changed their values uh, in the right order and the first value that they've added in the order is trust because as ai is booming up a lot of businesses and a lot of companies are asking okay you're using your using ai to make predictions and do a lot of stuff but isn't that ai storing our data yeah. in order to make better predictions and stuff like that and that is exactly what they are trying to un- make make businesses and people who are running the businesses understand that how this trust layer is masking their data and then as- unmasking it and making sure that whatever information uh, is related to the business is uh, not getting utilized somewhere else other than uh, impacting or empowering their own business uh, so yeah that's exactly what it yeah. is yeah just one thing i would like to add to that so it's not about uh, masking and demasking itself only salesforce has also kind of you know have an agreement with the ais that they are using like their data will not be utilized for uh, training purposes when you use your ai your ai i mean when you use the ai yourself or your business use the ai yourself with the api calls and everything you don't have that you know contract in place your data might be used for training purposes so what you're trying to say is if you're going to integrate any third party api uh, of or any third party ai with salesforce with the help of apis anything and everything that will pass on to that uh, ai is going to get uh, stored and used for training and used for training, uh, training the model purposes yeah unless and until you get a you know agreement signed with them but still in that scenario as well you don't have the complete uh, you know confirmation and no that. one's giving going to sign that contract for you yeah so that's one thing so this is why salesforce is kind of you know providing all of this the trust layer and everything and they are also going one step ahead and saying you do not trust us no issues bring your own ai and use it so this is why they, this is where they came up with bring your own model so this is boim uh, next up we have prompt